It's helping everyone from the military to farmers, and now it could be a game changer for typhoon victims in the Philippines. Good evening, and thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Akana. And I'm Yenji Denise. A team of techies from Hawaii is showing how small, inexpensive drones could be the tool that they need to rebuild. KITV 4's Laura Yamada shows us the technology is opening doors and eyes. It is a stunning view of the devastation in the Philippines from above. But this is no cheap or easy endeavor. Aerial imagery is very expensive. A team from Hawaii plans to change that. I'm going to get you on video, Chuck. UAV developer Ted Ralston and UH grad student Chuck Devaney have teamed up with the nonprofit Hawaii Pacific Foundation to take small, unmanned aerial vehicles into the heart of the devastation. Take a look at the treetops, gone, giving you a chilling idea of how high the water rose. So we want to get from the edge of Tobogon. A lot of different things can be interpreted if you just have a snapshot of the ground. The essential need at this point is to get an accurate understanding at the very detailed level, at the village level, at the camp level, as to what is actually going on. We're using different cameras, of course, but with their commercially made, easy to find drone, you get a clear picture of the damage to the sports complex. The hospital showing water levels above the roof. This picture showing a forest line redefined. How exactly the water now runs under the freeway and the homes. What's left, what's not. So you can begin to, to measure the level of the issues by how many tarps are out there. Now we can see that. Okay, this is a building footprint. We know how to address that certain deal. We can see that there, you know, it, it might appear as one household, but it might be four households in one little plot. So each household then gets its own set of tarps or a certain amount of money for restoration. Devaney says not only do they meet with officials, they met with kids, with residents, anxious to learn how this little plane could change their lives. I'm giving them the knowledge. I'm giving them the empowerment to deal with this sort of thing on their own. Lara Yamada, KITV4 News.